here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Cosmic Sky. A few things have changed on the island, and you guys have been absolutely crazy. I checked my IS. My IS island levels are nutty. Mining is at four. We can actually put down iron ore nodes. My slayer level is at two, so we can officially put down chicken spawners. And our farming, our potatoes are done. Now, there's a little problem with this, is that if we check IS farming... Our potatoes are open, but we do not have a farming recipe. Now, from carrots all the way down the line, you can see that we need farming recipes plus the 100% complete from the previous farming ingredient. And I don't know what's going on on the AH, but I was double checking this and like farming recipe for pumpkins is 54 million, 99 million for beetroot, 3 million for melons, sugarcane's only 500k. And carrots is 10 million. We are nowhere near that. So I figured for today, we're going to work on making our farm semi-auto. Now we do have a lot of work to do for that. And I upgraded your guys' igloo. It needed it. I saw like seven of you guys piling into this little box. And it was just really sad. So I made you guys a little bit extra. Now it has rabbits right now, but we'll be able to get chickens soon. So we grabbed our two kits from the last two days. I wasn't feeling well, but I made sure to log on to grab my kits. Now these kits are now level two. So if we go IS level, you can see we did unlock level two last episode. So now our rank kit gives us more loot, which is really awesome. Better loot, more money, and better spawners. Because we upgraded our Slayer level, if you actually look at these kits, it says one to four chicken mob spawners. So no more rabbit mob spawners. Now you'll get a few every now and again, um, but for the most part, we're going to be getting chicken spawners. Um, but I do want to upgrade my IS level. And I have to show you why. Because there's certain things we need to make this farm work. For instance, we need to be able to place redstone if we want to make a semi-auto farm. We also need to place hoppers. I also need to place a hopper for you guys inside the igloo. Because everybody keeps asking me, give us a place to donate. So that's perfect. You can always do slash pay space my name. If you want to help out the Glad Army Alliance Island, pay Glad Army. If you want to help out the series, pay Miss Gladiator. Pretty easy. I think that works out really well. And of course, level six is anvils, which we haven't really needed yet, had any use for. So we'll wait on that and ability to place enchant tables. So I think we're going to buy up to the hoppers. I think that's all we need. It's anvils and enchantment tables later. Level eight is observers. Level 9, level 10 is Pistons, Auto Miners at level 11, so that's pretty cool. I do like that level 5 now has a 69 block radius, so we'll be able to build this out a little bit more. Now I did add to our farms, and I've uh, been playing around with some concrete, I think this is concrete, white concrete, it's, uh, it's pretty. The whole island was checkerboard, I don't know if you were here when the island was checkerboard, but I did not like it, so I fixed uh, this a little bit, but... Now that we have these things, we can buy redstone, we can buy hoppers, and we can buy dispensers. I believe we could always place dispensers, but of course we need that redstone to really make it work. Um, so let's open these kits up. We need some chicken spawners, 100%. Two chicken spawners, we got some money, we got another lost wasteland fragment, which is awesome. Let's grab the money fragment, two log nodes, another lost, we got two lost wasteland map fragments. They don't stack, but hey, we got two of them. Anti-sword 2, decreased damage from enemy swords, scaling with level. That's cute. We got some pants, some pants, and that's it. I do have a hopper. I bought one and then realized I couldn't place it because we were, unfortunately, not the proper island level. And our last one, so we ended up with three more chicken spawners, another lost wasteland fragment, a chain armor repair scroll. That'll be useful later. 14 whole dollars and another pair of pants, but leather. And a stone gem, execute three. Chance to deal massive damage on low health enemy players. Ooh, that's cute. No coal or iron nodes at all, just the log ones, which I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. It could have been better. Um, I brought some coal over from my other island because I was getting a little tired of not having coal. Um, and we, of course, have these map fragments, but we have the chicken spawners. So I want to put you guys on a new mission whenever you are over here is to kill the chickens. So um, I think we can just punch out this. One, two, three, and one, two. 
one, two. So for now we have chickens and rabbits and I'm going to actually build underneath here and just add more and more chickens and rabbits as we get them. Just to be a little bit easier for you guys, our inventory is a disaster, but that's okay. That's okay. So we want to work on redstone and I did want to check out our first investor. Freaking epic. Oh my goodness. I got this gift, um, what, three or four nights ago from Pure Wasabi and I'm super excited. I'm considering it an investment because as you can tell, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. So we got a stack of cobblestone nodes, a stack of log nodes, pretty awesome, an iron shield, which I don't even think we can wear right now. Um, we have an iron ore node, which we're definitely going to put use and put it inside of the igloo for you guys. A skeleton mob spawner, a zombie, a spider, which obviously we cannot place. 64 rabbit spawners ooh, and 64 chicken spawners which is epic so this will definitely help us out we can get a little further along an iron repair scroll obviously we don't work with iron right now another two million dollars whoo and some iron gear with prot 2 on the chest plate and of course an iron sword um i don't know how much use we're gonna get out of this right now but i think i'm gonna save it for a um an adventure run later whenever we can go to the adventure area that does indeed have iron now it's time to semi-auto these farms we need to buy redstone how expensive is it? 50 dollars each that's not too bad um dispensers are not in here so we're gonna need a lot of redstone our farms are pretty big um i want to use the least amount of redstone possible i think i'm gonna go for 40 pieces and we need dispensers where would they be? They're probably in containers. Yes. So dispensers are 20k a piece. Oh, that hurt. Half a stack. Let's go. Half a stack of dispensers if we can afford it. Oh lord. 32. And we're gonna need a ton of water buckets. A ton. So we're probably gonna buy them because I think they're only like 100 a piece. But let's put all of these in for now. It's not that complicated of a farm. And then we'll have more on that side. I'm just gonna place not place these ones right now i can't pick them up though you do indeed have to use a pickaxe to break them so that you can get them but that's fine so we're just gonna leave this side the four because i actually ran out of radius on my island but now we have tons so i should be able to expand these quite efficiently four five six is that only seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. no that's eight okay so now we have this and all that's left is connecting all this but the only problem is my igloo is so darn close to this but you know what i think it'll be okay and i'm also gonna grab a repeater just so we can extend this line a little bit so we're gonna grab let's just grab four and i guess a lever one lever should be enough to do the entire thing one two three four five six seven eight okay so we want a little bit more extension on that there we go and this one oops uh, one two three four five six seven eight there's no particular reason why i'm doing it this way it just works one two three four five six now what i'm wondering is can i do this uh doop, 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 and put the lever right at this door that might be a little awkward but i think it'll be cute so we have our lever right here I will be able to test if it works until I put water in. So we need like 32 water buckets. Oh God. Oh God. Can we just buy buckets for cheaper? No. Okay. Let's get an inventory full of water buckets. Here we go. And in we go. So this will take a little bit of time, but you know what? We've talked about some other things like if you are enjoying the episode, consider subscribing. Uh, we're actually on the up and up right now, which is really awesome. It's been a while since my numbers have been climbing, which is really cool. Really cool to see. I am actually choking on speaking, but it's really awesome to see. And I hope you guys are truly enjoying the content. I haven't uploaded any more Fortnite. I did notice that you guys weren't too into it. Um, so I don't want to uh, upload things that aren't actually going to be watched in the long run. So I hope that none of you are too upset about that. I will be uploading like cool Fortnite events because I do think that they are really fun to experience and be a part of but for now um we're just gonna leave it at events and, and neat things that happen on the Fortnite Epic Games servers for now but I do have a new series coming I've been playing another game it's called Subnautica and I don't know if you've ever played it but it is extremely fun I have been just rocking at playing it I've played it with Dyson I played it alone it has 
devoured so much of my time. It is so much fun. But let's see if this works. All our water bottles are in. Now, the only problem is we don't have hoppers at this end. So we might want to actually do that before we see if this works. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Do we still have water bottles? Or water bottles? Oh, water buckets. No, we do not. So we need four. And so what I want to do... Uh, let's go put this iron ore node away. It's truly bothering me. Um, we can just put it here. Boop. There we go. That's for them. There we go. Okay. We have hoppers. We just need to f make it work. So... I kind of want to funnel it probably to right here. This side's not going to work as well because, of course, it's not full. Oh, there's another loot box. Look at the chat. Loot box automation. They got 64 arrows of poison, three skill token shards. Oh, hot diggity. That's really good. Chain armor repair scroll. That's not great. Item lore crystal and robots take over. Ooh, okay. We might, we might want to look into that a little bit. Okay, we don't need that. We need this gone. Okay. And a little bit of building for this episode, but hey, I think it's worth. I want this to go like that. I want to get rid of that, and I want to put that there. Okay. So then same thing on this side. Boop, boop. Boop. Now, of course, we're going to have to funnel these hoppers to a chest somewhere. But for now, it'll just do. For now, it'll just do. Uh, we need more hoppers. Hoppers are a little bit expensive, though. I remember that from my other island. 25k, two, three, four. Four seems fine. Get rid of that and put this here. Okay, same with this side. This should work. Uh-oh. Okay, the chest is still fine. That scared me so much. There's so much loot in that chest. Um, and then I'm going to go back in later and make sure all these walls are beautiful and not with this clay anymore because that's just not very pretty. There we go. And I guess we'll go this way. There's not really any reason to go one way or the other. And we'll just put that right there. Okay. One more. And then we are done this area. There we go. And one last water bucket. Now this should work. All of the potatoes should go into where the hoppers are. If my lever works. Oh, that's problematic. It also opens my door. <laughs> oh, it opens the door. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so we flick the lever one more time just to turn the water off. Now all the potatoes should be accumulating perfectly. Did I not put water in these? I did. These guys acted weird because they don't have uh, barriers. So this one acted a little bit weird. Let's see what happened. I'm going to double check with the lever. What is happening over here? Yeah, exactly what I thought was happening. You little suckers. No, no, no water. Water physics. What are you doing, water physics? You're hurting my brain. Oh, this is so logical, Gabe. Gabe, what are you doing to me? Okay, let's try this one more time. This should work. Water one more time. And let it all flow. I want to make sure this works. Boom, let's try this. Come on, babies. There we go. Okay, so we're having a little bit of water physics issues right now on the island. That seems to have functioned properly. And we'll also be able to extend this out very shortly um, so that we can have more farms. But I think that is working. Like that. Turn the water off. Close the door. As if we put the lever right in front of the door. That is so silly. So silly. But now all we have to do is go into our little hoppers and we should have a ton of of potatoes and all we gotta do is replant them up here and that's our semi-auto farm which is really epic super happy about it now i think i can cheekily do this is warp miss gladiator oh my god i just went into all caps <laughs> he has no idea <laughs> oh team raptor you make me laugh but if i get rid of this and we have our hopper we just go boop 
and we now have a donation area. So let's just buy a little sign. Team Nara Raptors already throwing stuff in. Love it. Uh, where are the signs? Utility? Yes. Uh, sign. Um, donations accepted here. Oh, oh, here. Yay! And Team Nara Raptors filling it up, probably with $1 notes, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> hey, door, let me out. All right, guys, I think that's pretty good for today. So what's really epic is tomorrow our kit is going to be level six, which is going to get us a lot more loot. Now, I want to do a little sneaky-beaky over here and visit the Glad Army Island. Now, I'm adding a ton of people to this. I'm um, a little hesitant, but I think it'll go okay. Oh, the boys moved my oars over here. Look at you guys. You guys are so cute. Look at them go. Oh, I also kind of destroyed most of my farm. This is, of course, just a little um, powdered concrete turning into concrete area. Um, the boys have made some pretty crazy melon farms down there. I did a few rows, I'm quite proud to say. It was a lot of work. Um, probably never again, but <laughs> it was a ton of work. But so far, this island's looking pretty great. I did add in a little bit of something down here this place this i want to rebuild this very soon um someone is coming in and adding more blocks of mag the magma blocks which is pretty cool but i definitely want to rebuild this on my island somewhere far enough away that we don't hear it all the time um because this one is constantly flowing right so it's turning on and off constantly it's on a timer so the water you can hear it you can hear it i can hear it i've gone a little mentally crazy over it but it's got a nice um, area for collecting goods. Pretty good. Someone sold everything recently, which is awesome. Super happy about that. A chicken spawner shard. We haven't gotten any of those yet. We haven't really killed our, our chickens or our um, rabbits that much. I mean, we did a little bit for our challenge. but And then, of course, the beautiful melon farm down here. This thing is gorgeous. But there's a reason I came over here. I wanted to pick up these and put them on Miss Gladiator's Island because I think it'll be better for us over there. Because I feel like most people that join this island are going to have a lot of these resources. Um, if they want to bring them over and use them here, that's cool. If they want to use them on their own island, that is fine as well. No worries at all. But I want to pick these up and, of course, fill in the little hole with some grass dirt. There we go. Now, I keep this water here as an infinite water source, so that just stays. That is no reason to leave. But I did spend money on these, so I, uh, I'm going to take... I'm going to steal them from my island and put them into here. And uh, find a way. Oh, God, there's tons of garbage in this corner. Whoa, I just found melons in the corner and carrots! Ah! Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> I just stole some things. <laughs> I think you donated too much, Raptor. Um, let's just throw it in for you. I think that was it. And we're gonna add more to here because this is this is needing some improvements here. Um, we don't really need this anymore. I don't think so, eh, guys. I think that's oh, oh no, oh no, oh I moved the ah. Oh darn. Pick up items, drop items. We just need the interact with harvest nodes, public region, doors, levers, pressure plates. No, no, no. Interact with hoppers. I don't want them to be able to pick something out of the hopper, so I'm not going to let them interact with that. Um, pick up XP, safe PVP, break blocks, place blocks. No, there we go. Okay. That there. That there. We might have to move our little table and make another Igloo, the kind of point of this is I want to have multiple, I'm going to go that way as well and into that corner over there, which is going to be a lot of fun. Now, I don't know how I'm going to organize these. This is bugging me, guys. It's bugging me. It's not. Oh, dear. Okay. Fill that. That there. And that there. There we go. That's going to help out a ton. So let's get rid of this log node. 
and this log node because we don't need as much wood anymore as we do indeed need coal and iron which is epic and I think that's it. I'm super excited these farms are done. Of course, we're going to have to replant them. They are not automatic farms in any shape or form. But look at that igloo. It looks so pretty with the skyline. Oh, I'm so excited. And I hope you guys really enjoyed the episode. Sorry I did not upload the last two days. I was not feeling well. Super anxious and stressed. But regardless, we're here today. And tomorrow's, oh my god, tomorrow's episode and kit is going to be so awesome. I am so excited. So stay tuned for that, guys. And I will see you all soon. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, see ya!